and the spirit of WrestleMania still upon us. One, two, no, no, he picked his arm up. He picked his arm up. His shoulder is up. All right, so anyway, this is Monster Core Arcade. This is what's going on today. Did you even get in there? Not a chance. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. It's so much nicer to work when the sun is out and it's warm. 72 degrees today or more. Beautiful day in New York City, in uh, Staten Island, New York. That's where, where we are right now. So, I'm just gonna share what I am doing today. Before we uh, begin this video, this is our YouTube channel, the main one, Monster Core. We're always hanging hardcore. That's our first logo. Monster Core is dedicated to, all, to all, mostly Halloween stuff. So then we we are into more than that. So we created Monster Core Arcade, which is all about arcades, pinball machines, and picking up games, trying to fix games, all that good stuff. Going to Dave and Buster's, Chuck E. Cheese's, I Play America, other arcades across around New York City, New York Jersey, some in Pennsylvania. I'm Johnny Hardcore, ultimate hardcore, all about hardcore. And hardcore is a good thing, not a bad thing. <clears throat> I have a big shed that's stuffed with all kinds of stuff. My old washer, no, my old dryer that needs to go. A brand new washing machine that I never used. I got a bunch of other arcade games in here too. That one's dead. This one's dead. That was this one was down in the basement, the paper boy. This is a Super Monaco GP sit down that was cut in half on the top. The top shell was um, cut in half, like a like a like a magic trick. But it's uh, it still works. Back in the 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 heap of clutter is a Super Sprint, and uh, I destroyed it because when I put wheels on it, which I'm doing today on Crazy Climber. It fell, and it fell right on the wheels, all three of them, and cracked the whole thing off, so that's done. And way back there, if you could see it, it's a pole position two cockpit, sit down arcade. That doesn't work, but it's in good shape, and I think there'll be a day when we get to it. These big boys right here, that have been outside for as long as it's been, are dying. They're going to go very soon. I'm just going to open them up one day and clean them up, and uh, see what... You know how what condition they're in they're big boys they take up a lot of real estate so i have no more room and i need to get things going got a lot of scrap to get rid of so this is going to happen in the next couple of weeks not not in a day that's for sure a lot of stuff is going this is the stuff right here halloween bases and stuff like that's going to be gone or we'll put in a pile and um either scrap it or put it away for uh other times when we're gonna get back into the halloween stuff but right now I'm trying to get things going little by little, one step at a time, as my dad says. Rest in peace, dad. Heaven. So, in the garage arcade, with the wonderful scent of bunny, bunny hay and poop and pee and some unfortunate cats, cats stuff in here too, which has to, I have to pull games out today, which I'm going to do and clean it up, and not leave the door open anymore for my new cat to come in and do his thing um this game is gonna be out today because it's not it's not anything special you know it's gonna be sold too so uh you know what's going in the shed that's one of my my moves today gotta take, take all that stuff off the top too this one right here is uh hydro thunder i'm i'm not sure what it exactly it is it was it was playing blind and and now it's not even coining up the, the lights are flashing one board is not on you know, I'm not, I don't know really what it is. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to do one thing first, which is move the game from here to there. So I feel like I got some productivity. The other day I did mess around with this and, and try to see what was going on. But I, I'm, I'm reluctant to do this. But I have to pull this whole computer out and uh, see if I can get to the power supply, which I'm, I'm un understanding is behind it. Uh, and then after that, we'll take it from there. But the monitor was out and then now it's not, not playing blind. So... Something else is wrong, and I'm not sure if it's fuses. I changed fuses right here. It's not those. 
This board right here, if you can see it, I did this in another video. This board doesn't go on. This board is very weak. The light is not really that powerful. And you know what? I see a couple fuses there. That's interesting. I wonder if those fuses have something to do with power right down there. I don't know what, what, what size they are. That's the only thing. I need one amp. But anywho, this is my day today. You can see I got some other games in here. A bunch of games. You've probably seen other videos that I posted. You know, when everything is all said and done, this, this arcade, garage arcade, will be back in business as far as, you know, being able to get in here and play. Um, there are games in here that don't work, but they'll probably still stay in here because my space is limited. But other games are going to be sold, like probably this Donkey Kong, or I might just put it in storage and uh, make it into a Fix-It Felix. Got to figure it out. Really, really not in a hurry to get rid of certain things, but other ones can go. And um, that's about it for right now. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to just make my life a little easier. And I'm going to install lights. I mean, um, not install lights. Hold on one second. I just wanted to grab myself a nice Cadbury Easter egg. With my smelly bunnies. I have my workout gloves on too because I'm work working out today as well. Haven't done that in a while. And I'm waiting for the weather to turn before I start it again. So, uh. Today's the day. And um, got my water on like I was telling you in other videos, right? But the thing that is not cool is that my pipes cracked because they were brittle. And what I should have did was take, took them inside and I didn't do that. So next year, obviously when uh, we shut the water off, I'm taking them inside because when we were putting it back on, they cracked. It's a pain in the neck to go, you know, to go through all this crap again. You know, have to go shopping and buy, you know, stuff that just, you know, is outside and, weathered and stuff like that but listen that's life what could you do they lasted quite a quite a few years so can't be too too uh too uh upset about that all right so getting into what i'm doing today because i'm not that tech savvy as far as making games work um this has been in a shed i picked this crazy climber up on um the day after the super bowl which i i hit a nice little box so that was cool and I just feel like uh, getting something and it just came up and I just got it. So what I'm doing today is I'm going to do some surgery on this. I have my little lawn mower screwdriver right there, which I'm going to open up this little box. I don't know if it opens or not. I'm going to try to figure it out. Um, I'm knocking these pieces of wood off. I don't, I don't like them. They don't, they're not strong enough to me. They're old. And uh, I want to put wheels on the bottom. And I'm not, I'm not going to put a piece of... Um, plywood underneath it because I don't have it number one and number two I'm just I'm not going through that whole nonsense I'm just taking it off and the wheels aren't so much um there's only like an inch of clearance with the wheel to the to this wood so it's like I'm not really losing much on the game and it'll be easier I guess for my kids to play it too so right now that's what I'm gonna do just make it easy on myself it's easy to just rip these things off they're already very very weak so, you know, I'm not really in the, whatchamacallit, mood to uh, reinforce this piece right here. And then it's like, you know, it doesn't go to the end anyway. And I can't, I just, I feel more comfortable getting the wheels on the bottom like that on each corner. Right there, those wheels. So I can move the games around. Because when you have, you know, a certain amount of arcade games, like 25 of them, and you need to make moves, it's so much easier to, to move when you have wheels on them instead of using a hand truck. And uh, sliding them against the floor and breaking everything. So... That's my little thing today, which is something I've been waiting to do. And then uh, that, that game I showed you in the shed is going to go, with, I mean, the garage is going to this place right here. I really don't think I'm going to do anything else in here today because I'm not pulling out Paperboy and messing around. Um, that's about that for now. So let me get into it. Grab yourself a cup of coffee or an ice cold brew because today I'm definitely having some L. Today's my L day. Something that I enjoy to do with my Silent Hill by Kinga, who is, also has a YouTube channel and she does some really wonderful stuff on there. Very peaceful sounds of, of uh, singing bowls, chord singing bowls, and um, other instruments that are, are very peaceful. Especially when you're working on arcade games and pinball machines and it's not working out for you and you're getting a little aggravated. The sounds of Vanessa, Silent Hill by Kinga definitely make it easier to um, figure it out and not lose your patience. All right, so 
here we go. A little bit of demolition coming up right now. My trusty hammer, my Super Mario hammer. Here we go. You know what it is? These brackets here. Just come off. Make sure first. Use the inside, right? Firewood. It's going right into the fireplace. Right back. Hey, and in between when I when I get all this wood off, I'm gonna do another set. Doing biceps right now, and then uh, come back and do more. But I'm gonna pause it. I'm not gonna let the video keep running. So I'm gonna knock this one down too. See, I mean, no offense, but you know, this is a lot of water damage, and to you know, to leave this thing standing on this piece of crap, it's like a pressurized wood, I guess. I don't know what it's called. Old wood. More firewood. It's not even wood. It's garbage. But that's more strong. It's probably not going to burn good either. It's probably going to be a chemical, so I don't know. Let's get it thrown into the garbage. Back of my truck, which goes right to my job. And take care. See you later. This might have to stay. Actually, it's not stay. It doesn't look too pretty, but we're just going to see it underneath, right? This is a very special uh, screw driver. It's for a, um, a chainsaw. But um, when me, my, when my dad was alive, uh, he took down some trees. He took down some big mother trees, boy. And he kept asking me every time we come over. He always wanted to do things. When he came here, he's like, "What are we doing today? What are we gonna do today? Are we take those trees down." I'm like, "Dad, I got two babies I'm taking care of right now. I can't take down trees. But we're gonna get to it." He goes, "I'll give you the money for it. I'll give you the money for it. How much would it cost?" I got it off, like a thousand dollars me. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it, we'll take care of it. So anyway, this, this right here, it's special. All right, so that, that, that came out pretty easy. I mean, if I can get, want me to get anal, I'm gonna make a big deal, I have the screwdriver right here. I'll just take these off. I found my screw gun too, it was buried in the, in the basement with uh, all the games in front of it. I had, to climb, I had to climb on the pool table with my limber self. You know, what, you know what I always do? I always save the screws too, man. You always need screws. This could actually go in the fire. Into the fire! This, this probably will run late into the evening, so what I will do is I will pour a glass of ale and have some with you if you want to have some something to drink later on. And I don't have to go to work. I never ever drink before I go to work. Never. Number one, it's not, it's not safe. It was, uh, you know, you get trouble. So, and it's not fun. That's the, the biggest thing, you know. Why would you want to go work and drink? Early in the 
only drink what I can, not a lot. It's not good to drink all the time. One time I drink. So tonight, I remember I, I had that issue with my my chest, my, my breathing, and my, um, like I heard at work, and I had chest pains, and I didn't know what it was. I thought it was my heart, and the doctor told me, you might need a stint. A stint? And uh, I went through all these tests, and then I had to go see um, a gastro doctor, and thank God I did, and he said, you know, you have to get an uh, endoscopy, which is, you know, put, sticking a thing down your throat and looking into your, your esophagus and stuff, and thank God nothing is wrong with me. Nothing. All right, so that's something I'm very, very thankful for. I don't want you to understand. I don't want you to think that I abuse myself and, and, and don't take care of myself. I take care of myself, and I eat very well. There are so many things out there you can't eat, which which is like after I'm went through this whole process, I've learned now about eating more again, and it's like almost everything I eat is like acidic. That's that's the issue I have: acid reflux. And if anybody out there is going through problems with your with your health, which you know at our age, the 50s, you know, I'm going to be 52. Um, you know, this is the time you have to take care of yourself the most, okay? This is the time maybe, you know, if you're, if you're blessed enough that you could retire around this time and you're able to start the next part of your life, you need to be healthy. So you got to take care of yourselves, right? I, I got a couple different uh, comments from other guys telling me that, you know, they've, they've been going through some issues. Some other, other my, uh, you know, my followers and guys I follow on Instagram went through some stuff too. You got to take care of yourself, okay? Especially, you know, not especially if you have children and they depend on you, you know, you got to take care of yourself because you need to be there for them. You got to be there for yourself, especially when you're going to retire and you want to get that pension. You need to be alive and healthy to enjoy that pension. All right. Remember that. So take care of yourself. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this into the fire. I'm going to do a set and I'm going to come right back. I'm going to press pause because I don't want you just to look at the space. And I'm not going to show my, my set. We'll, we'll do that in another YouTube video uh, when I make a YouTube channel on working out. But now it's all about my arcades. I'm gonna share. I need to do my set yet. Does anybody have this? The the unsalted cashew jar of all kinds of stuff, like screws and bolts and nuts and washers and God knows what's in here. Quarters. The grandpa jar, right? The the grandpa, the old school grandpa jar. <laughs> all right, I'm back. Did my set. I'm gonna do another set in a little while. Right, I found my tools. Found my my bits, tipples and bits. That's what I use right there. What is this? Again, turn to this box, recycle that box. Let's work. Oh, look at that. I don't even need that bit. I have this. Oh, that's awesome. So let's get to it. What? Something I messed up on already. Jumping the gun. I open the back box to get these wheels off because if I rip them off, it's gonna mess up the wood very bad because they're not screwed in. They're uh, actually, if I take this off, I don't screw too now. I mean, I'm gonna have to do it anyway, but I have to take these off because I'm not gonna use this. I'm not gonna have a swivel and then these in the back. It's just stupid. But for now, I can tip it down and it won't fall. So let me just get it going. This is something I do to, um, almost every single, not every single game, but I mean not almost every single game, every single game I own, I put the wheels on. One of the best things I've ever done and, and learned to do is put these suckers on. And you don't get a long... long thick screw bolt you get a short one I don't know if that's an inch or so what does it say here five sixteenths are an inch so that's enough but you don't need to go that far in and the weight's gonna hold on anyway so it's all good and I, I, I do it different ways I, I depends on how, I, how the wood is at the bottom I don't go so close to the edge either so I give it some space <laughs> Other things, there's you know important components underneath too, so the inch is just enough. It doesn't go that far through, and uh, it's good.
Your gun's dead. I got another battery. Juice. And what I also like to do if I if I have the time, which almost all the time I get a game never really happens, but I don't like to take them out of the, the back of the truck until I until I put the wheels on because it's much easier when I have them in the truck, just lay it down in the truck and then put the wheels on with it laying down the back of the truck and then you know slide it down and, and tip it and stuff like that. It's easy to work that way, but sometimes it just doesn't work out the way I want to. show called Pintastic and it's in like Massachusetts somewhere and uh, I wanted to go I wanted to actually sell a game and bring a game out there but it's a really far mission and I have my other little guy this weekend so I, I definitely can't make that trip but um, I wanted to go so if anybody's interested in going it's called Pintastic and it's this weekend um, the weekend after the, the eclipse which I think it's uh, what, 11 12 13 14 around that those those days really great show definitely worth going to if you can and the switch over here to turn the game on and off is right there. So I actually can't cover that. Right? I'll go a little bit, a little bit in. Like this. This hole doesn't matter. See, now you have to use your judgment. What's the best way, what's the best place to put it? On the edge? Like that? There's no wood there, so probably not. Spray paint the bottom black. No. If I had time to kill, I'd do a ton more, but. Alright, so I'm gonna lift this up and I'm gonna drop it and then I hope it doesn't fall back. Do it by myself. Usually, the way I do things. Usually, the way everybody does things, right? The only person you count on is yourself. Oh, I'm still wearing my Elton Warrior shirt. Honor of WrestleMania. WrestleMania and Cody Rhodes. Um, no matter what I have to do, so when I pick it up, it is gonna drop because it is there's like a little bit of what you call it there. So wish me luck. Heavy sucker. Ready? Count that one, two, three, three. Uh, drop. Like this. Grab the handles. Come on, root me on. Come on. Come on, you can do it. Come on. You can do it. Put a little power to it. Uh, uh. Whoa. I mean, do I really care about the other ones? It's kind of working out, right? Might just go with that, you know?
are moving pretty good to me. Let's see if I'm gonna do it. It's now, now or never. So let me see. Let me see how hard it is to take these wheels off. I'm not the, uh, the bottom. I, I would always want to be able to see it better. There's no key for this, so I have to use my trusty either orange or no, it's a screw, right? Yeah. Screw there, screw there. Screw driver time. Screw gun time. Screw gun time. Oh, we gotta do a set in a minute. You gotta be kidding me. And my phone just cracked. You gotta love it. Let me press pause. Yeah, my phone just cracked. What could you do? I think it's just the, uh, the cover the shield, but I'm meaning to get an iPhone, so maybe it's the time. Now I have something wedged on the tripod. All right, we're back in business. Cheers, some hardcore water. Cheers, my broken phone. <clears throat> Can't complain, man. This phone lasted a long time. You like that? I didn't even curse. I didn't even let it any that bomb. Yesterday was the eclipse, so it was you know it was pretty exciting for the for the you know, most part of the whole day, right? And um, my ground is up here. That's not good. Uh, what do I want to say? So getting to the mics. So my my I have my outside cats, and we're all outside, but you know have the sunglasses and ready to watch the eclipse. And uh, the cats are outside. They're all like, "What's going on? What's going on?" So I don't know. One of the cats. My oldest cat, Bo, the black one that you see in videos, he had a mouse <laughs> right across the street, and he comes across with a mouse hanging out of his mouth, you know, from the tail. Now, you know, we're animal lovers, so I'm not like, you know, gonna let him, you know, kill a mouse. So I'm like, oh no. So my kids like, you know, laughing, not like upset. But then we go after the cat, we try to get it. Then the mouse like starts running around. And my other cat, the, the orange one, he's more younger, like probably like maybe barely one years old. So he grabbed the mouse, and he just—I don't know if he ate it or did something to it, but this poor mouse. I think they got him, but it was, it was, uh, it was funny. I'll, I'll say that, it was funny. But I would have saved the mouse if I could. So there's a whole bunch of uh, wonderful spaghetti in here. <coughs> Excuse me. The smell of the games. I do like that smell, by the way. This, the filter be smell. Now I'm actually going to pull this wire out too, so I don't need to do that. Should I, should I like the, the front do this so I can get more room? Yeah, right? Like that. So I'll gain like another Anyway, 
this game here. It's crazy climber. I did want this for a long time. Actually, I think I said this in another video too that I was gonna make a trade for one that was in supposedly nice shape. And uh, that's why I can see these wheels. So I was gonna trade a, a Tron I had for one. Nice Tron, I had a good Tron, but the Tron I think uh, it didn't power up. So uh, the guy was interested. And then um, he, he went up selling the Tron I mean, he wound up selling the Crazy Climber, and uh, instead I traded him for a track and field, a nice track and field, because I always wanted a track and field also. So I got the track and field, but then, um, you know, you always, you have your wants, right? When, when you're a collector and, you know, you have, you're into the hobby, you have the games you want to get. You know, there's a bunch of games you want to get, of course. So this came out, you know, I just, out of nowhere, it just came out. I just saw it. I'm like, wow, Crazy Climber, really? And then the price was right. I'm like, let me go get it. I just, this was just meant to be. I had the extra cash, like I said, for the Super Bowl box, so <clears throat> to me it was worth it. And I, my kids will enjoy it too when the time comes. Yeah, I, I haven't really looked into this game at all, see what's going on with it. It's, it has a sound issue, I know that. One other thing I'm going to definitely do, like probably right now, while I'm, while I'm outside and showing is change the marquee light because I like to put LED lights in there so it burns so hot. But right now I gotta do this. So I gotta get in there and I gotta undo these bolts which trying to see how bad they are. I'm coming out with my fingers. There's one there. Both of them. Both. This is like the nonsense of things, right? Doing this silly stuff. But in, in all honesty, you gotta do everything with these games. So it's gonna take this, this hobby up some serious stuff. So that's what I'm trying to do. Alright, so that's the wheels. Right? That's the wheels. Yeah. Trust a bit. Right. So these nuts. It's another thing too. When you're working on games, you need to be prepared. You need to have your tools. You can't be looking for the tools while you're working on games. You know, it wastes so much time. So I'm learning. I'm, I'm not learning. I'm, I'm getting there with being organized. I'm, I'm doing my best every day. Really, truly doing my best. This, this right here is. Is like a step for me to, to get more organized, get this get this game room in order, and you know make the summer more fun for the kids and big kids that come by, hang out. You know, some family members. All right, I got the right bit. I still have to do a set, so let me take. Uh, let me take these out first, and then the other ones I could take out from inside the game, right? Because the screws, I could just knock it out at that point. So, knock it out. Now this game is nothing close to mint. This game is just, I should call it a player's game, but it's all there. And that's what matters to me is the game is all there. And I, I, I've said this too in, in other videos that I, I've watched other guys, you know, really making games amazing, beautiful, and like perfect. I'm like, oh my god. Probably when I'm in my 60s, you know, I'll do that. Right now, I'm not even close. 
And we'll do another set. And then I'm gonna come back and tip this thing down and then put the diverse labials on. That'll be one pro project done. Let me press pause on my cracked, cracked skull, cracked um, screen protector. Okay, I'm back. Did my set. Did actually three sets, three sets of uh, biceps on a hammer, hammer curls and straight sit down. So that's good. Um, all right, so right now what I'm doing is I'm going to pick this game up again. I'm going to tip it back. Uh, I, mean, I should probably put the, the back door on too so it has more integrity. Or, I don't know. keeps it from wiggling around, right? I've seen a couple guys make a big deal about the back door and make like a beautiful back door and cut it and all this other stuff. And listen, like I said, when I'm in my 60s and 70s, that's what I'll do. But right now, no time. Toe nailed it. Anybody know what toe nailed me? Anyway, I'll just show you the light that I have that I'm gonna put in at the end once I put the wheels on. So this is an LED light. It's from Walmart. Walmart, the greatest store. Monster trucks, little monster truck toys, and all the good stuff. Bunny hay, good prices and stuff, especially when you go when you buy it in New Jersey. You know, taxes are cheaper. And then these lights, pretty sure they still sell them in certain stores. Walmart, Walmart. Less than ten bucks for this thing. It's LED. It's bright. Doesn't burn hot. And if you know anything about the LED, about the um, the old marquee lights, they have the starter. They have like a transform all these things in there. It's heavy. It burns hot. It doesn't look nice. You can get a bulb if you want an LED bulb and replace it too. But this is the move. Trust me. You can make it as, as nice as you want, or you can make it as hardcore and raw as you want, like I do. And you're not gonna know because it's inside the game, and it makes the game look so much fresher. Especially if you have a nice marquee. And if you don't have a nice marquee, like this one is like, I don't know. I'm gonna, when I take it out, I'll take a look at it and I'll clean it up a little bit. But um, you buy them. They're like 20 bucks, 30 bucks online to buy a brand new marquee. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to tip this game to me now. Say a prayer. I'm doing it from the front because I want to get the wheels off. I mean, I, I probably should do it the other way, but I'm going to do it the, this way. And then uh, what's going to happen? I don't know what's going to happen. Let's see. Is it going to be okay? Or is it going to slide? Well, let's see what happens. I feel this I think it's not flat. No, I'm gonna the control panel. No, I don't have I don't have a way to grip it, so I actually have to do the other way. You know I use now I usually do what I always do with these games is I always put one of those little uh grammars, like uh, the handle. So I'm gonna do that too today. Look at it right now. Let's do the house up.
this silly little thing. This silly little thing helps a lot when you tip it, which I should have it in right now, you know? Because this thing doesn't have a grip here. It has a grip from the top. You want to have a grip like right there, pull it to you, or at least on the top like that, which I'm going to put it on right now. So I need a grip. So let, let the time, the wash time run. I'm going to use some old screws. They're from probably other games. And that's that. And on we go. I have like a thing to step on. So I'm still, I'm, I'm too short to get to the top, right? Shorty. I'm actually six foot four, so I'm not short at all. I know when you put stuff on top of games, like I do, and put them underneath. Anything you put on top won't go backwards, it won't fall over because of this. So it's helping, right? It's a breeze. Right. See, I'm good at this kind of stuff. But as far as the tech shooting and all that, I need, I need definitely some. I need some guidance and need some. need to watch some more YouTube videos, right? A lot of guys out there know what they're doing. But I'm gonna try. I'm gonna keep keep doing it and keep learning. Every time. That's a good thing. It's not gonna do this. Let's tip this sucker. Watch this look like grab it from the top down. Oh, play that one handed. I just did my guns. My wires in the way. Just move it forward just a little. Just do it. Take you over here so you can see the other side, so you can see me work. And then the, the phone's gonna fall again and really break. Right now, it's just the screen protector broke. You can see my workout area right now. This is my bench that I found, my weight stack from Costco, my push up bench, or push up bar, whatever you call it. The pool that'll be open at the end of the month. You gotta take off the liner again. Everybody knows about pools. Ground pools, freaking liner came up from a storm we had. Yeah, this this, this wind's gonna knock this one over again. I put it over here. There's no wind. Let me just show you, share this with you if, if you're still watching. So my my house, I bought this house probably 13 years ago now, almost 14 years ago. And when I bought this house, this whole entire ground was dirt it was gravel dirt god knows what was on this on this ground right and and for i don't know how many years before i did the concrete probably half half the time i've been in this house maybe five or six years is when i did the concrete when we poured when we did the pool when we did the pool i had to do concrete that was that was without a doubt right but then i didn't do this part because i couldn't afford it concrete's expensive you know tens of thousands of dollars for the amount of space i did but then uh when life changed and my dad went into his uh, state of dementia, which was the worst thing that ever happened to our family. Not the worst thing, but one of the worst things that ever happened to our family, losing my dad like that. Um, I, we poured. We, we, uh, I made a, a path around the house because he was in a wheelchair now. He's done. You know, he was on his way out. So, so we poured. But anyway, my point is so much has been done to this house, right? Even the, even the blacktop over there from my driveway. And... You know, being in this hobby and, and getting games and, and pinball machines and all stuff, these guys are heavy, you know, and unloading them off a truck is no joke, right? And wheeling them around is no joke on the ground, you know? I had to do this on dirt, mud, you know, snow, forget about it. It was really, really crazy stuff. And uh, I'm just like remembering that, you know, I did make a lot of project progress here in this house. You know, I feel like sometimes I don't, 
I feel like sometimes I just have too much and I really haven't done anything, but I know I've done, I've done so much. I know I've done non-stop stuff every, every day, like since I've been in this house. You know, when you own a house, it just never ends. So just give myself a little bit of, of a pat on the back. Sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. Even though I work a full-time job and I have three kids and take care of them by myself for the most part. You know, I take care of them by myself. I don't get any help. Just get a little babysitting here and there. But um, I do my best. <clears throat> and I don't let anybody knock me down. The people that knock me down, I don't, I don't talk to them anymore. They're not in my life. Even family members. Later. All right, so this should come off easier now. That's the one. And then I have to pick these screws out. And I'll probably pick this thing off. So let me do that. I should do a quick little. Snacks and stuff. My, my little guy Jackson's. Dad, can we go to the can we go to the store and get snacks and stuff? This is like this is like the nonsense stuff, right? Of games, like the stuff that means nothing. But it's honestly the foundation of the game, right? Because if you have to move a game and you have to, <coughs> you want it strong and reinforced. You don't want to, you know, mess it up, mess it up by moving it without wheels and stuff, right? So little things. First, some, first the little things, then the big things. Right. I like working my my workout gloves on too. I uh, just feel feel like more, I'm in more in the zone. It's easy to to, to move the games too with the gloves. <clears throat> you get a better grip on them. And when I take games down the basement, I always wear my gloves because sometimes your hands slip, and I can't like a, a, a hand truck, you know. Most of the time, I'm the guy that's that's doing the lifting, and I'm the guy that's pulling it or, or dropping it. So I'm the guy that's gonna kill someone if I drop the, the hand truck. So I make sure I don't ever let go. All right, so this should come out now with the uh, screwdriver. Philip, Phil, CM Punk, Phil. Have you watched wrestling? We're gonna show the. The footage of CM Punk when he got into the fight with the, I think with either Jungle Boy or Young Bucks, which is like ridiculous. I mean, everybody's gonna watch it, of course, but it's like now you show it. That's probably gonna be edited, so it looks like he's the bad guy because 
now he's with WWE, and you know, AEW is doing terrible in the ratings. Like I said, we just, just got off the WrestleMania weekend, and this should come out now. We're just uh, small bolts. Yeah, see, I didn't want to ruin the wood. That's why I did this, so I'll put the wheels back there again. I don't really want these wheels anyway, but I'll keep them. You never know. I'll lose this game right now. Oh. And so there, there, there's that. So now I'm going to put the other wheels on, which shouldn't take me long to do. I'll do this first, get them out of the way. These wheels cost like 10 bucks a piece, you know? But, uh, Lowe's or Home Depot. It's an investment in the game, and that's what I would do if I were you. If, I would, if you get a pinball, um, an arcade game, make sure you put wheels on it. Nice swivel wheels, not with the locks. The locks are ridiculous. They get stuck sometimes, or they go down on their own, and you're stuck with the game. You just want to be able to move it, wiggle it, you know, have the room, and that's definitely the way to go. Now these screws can go into scrap, even though they're not worth nothing. Just they have to play nothing, but scrap it. Right back, guys. One second. Now, I'm just going to put them in the screw room. Right? Uh -oh. We having a good time or what? Nice relaxing day. I work nights, so I, I'm, I'm home now. Thank God. And thank uh, my shift is going to change again next week. I'm not sure what's going to happen. I'm hoping that I'm just able to make this shift. But I work the midnight shift, if you can see me. And it's, uh, it's a lot a lot less stressful. And it's um, more quieter at night. And um, just, it's a hard shift, though. It's it's hard to wait the whole day to go to work. But it, it has a lot of pluses for it. And um, right now, I'm hoping that I just stay in the shift. And then I could get a lot of things done during the day instead of having to you know, run to work at 3 o'clock, 3.15, and, and 3.16. And... Sometimes work late, so we have some more breakfast. I mean, have some lunch. Size this one, right? These are my kick butt pants, my kick butt shorts. <clears throat> they were too short, and I cut them and made them into my awesome work pants. So my get my get s done shorts. Get sh you know shit. Get shit done. Get her done, son. Yeah, we're gonna go wide in the back. Up a little bit so we can catch the wood. I usually like doing this stuff with my son, both of my sons, Jonathan and Jax, even Tabby, my daughter, but they're with their mother right now, so. But I, I'm, I'm trying to get a lot of stuff done, so when they come back, it's, you know, fun. Time to have fun. But I do, I do like doing work with them. <clears throat> Anything. Any kind of silly things. This is a little bit harder. Like, a little more grunty. But, like, easier stuff. Like, my son Jonathan knows how to take things apart, put them together again. So uh, I always tell him, John, get the screw gun, you know, do this, do that. And, you know, he doesn't get mad. He, he, like, he wants to do what he wants to do, which is game. Not game. But he wants to game with, um, you know, his 
his stuff and his VR. And it's cool. You know, I'm not knocking it. I'm not knocking anything he does. I, I love my kids. You know, I'm backing them up on everything they do. But um, I do want them to be a part of stuff that I do. So yeah, I'm going to do it like this. Make it a little bit. Um, stuff in. You hear this, the wind chimes in the background? We like wind chimes. It sounds nice. It sounds nice at night and just creates a nice ambiance. We, we can't get copyrighted from, from, from wind chimes, right? I can't play any music right now because the channel's not monetized yet. And even if it was, you get monetized and they copyright you. It's really stupid, honestly. Oh, I remember when I bought this game, the side, the side was a little bit off on this one. It was coming off. So you know what I could do right now? I could actually reinforce it while I have it down. I can see it's like sagged. You know, actually, I have to drop it first, and then I'll put all the pressure on it, and then I'll go in and give it a couple screws on the side. I remember that. I'll do it on this side, too, while I have it. And I'm not going to touch it ever again. Like, I'll forget all about it. All right, so that's good. Let's see if we're still recording here. Nice, 56 minutes. Give us some watch time, baby. All right, so that's what's going on with the bottom of the Crazy Climber, and most of the arcade games i have in here pretty much all of them i know i don't think super punch out has wheels that's the only one that doesn't have wheels but uh that's that'll eventually get them so there you go and i couldn't go up with this one up there and i didn't choose to go that way i, I chose to go that way to give it a little bit more i guess balance i don't know whatever this game is really rugged right look at that little piece of shrap metal it's all right like i said i'm hardcore and raw Look at that coin door, man. Look how old and vintage that is. Can't wait to fire this guy up. I know there's a sound issue with the two, so um, we'll get to that. You know what's something else now I got to deal with? I think these are machine screws to go in there. I wanted to take this thing out, which I'm going to take out. I don't have the bit for it. I'm not going to go look for it either. I'm just going to take my uh, trusty adjustable wrench. And uh, just pull it out like that. Just squeeze it on it. If you don't have, this is another trick. If you don't have the bit to get these little guys out, just get an adjustable wrench and pinch it just enough. And just turn a little bit. And if you don't have an adjustable wrench, you could use um, channel locks, use pliers, and just like squeeze it and turn it. And you can just grab it a little bit and you, you'll get it. You know, you just have to keep doing it and put, give it a little squeeze and you'll get it out. And you'll, you know, you don't have to use those things again because who the heck has a freaking bit like that laying around right and most of the time they have that little dot the little like line coming out that doesn't even let it let you go in and stuff so hey look at that i found a battery one of the rc batteries that's good good all right we're gonna lift this sucker up i'll record it and drop it down make sure i don't um drop my potato chips because that's my my lunch right my dinner right now my brunch my brunch my uh my snacks and stuff. My broken phone. I have no idea what you could see. Yeah, it's going down again. Yeah, this this concrete was not done right either. Done right. That's stupid me. Let's see. Can you see me? I have no idea. I can't imagine anybody ever watching this video that long, but if you are, you are a dedicated Monster Core Arcade YouTuber for us. We love it. I love it. But I watch it. I edit it. I learn from what I do. I try to speak well, speak clearer. If I'm if I'm not near the phone, I know you can't hear me, so I have to speak louder. But uh, I'm doing my best. I'm learning as I go too here. I'm just a working man. I do the best that I can. So let's take this bit out, and I always put the bit back with the screws. I should have done that. I put it back with the with the uh, the screws, the right size, so I have it all ready for the next time. My beautiful Tupperware. Jesus Christ. My Philip tip back in. 
take all my special tools. I might told you about gripping that 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 uh, little machine screw, a little adjustable wrench. Pinch it. You'll get it. I just make it go up like this, like, 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 uh, who does that? Luke Skywalker, like this. All right, and it just goes up. I have that power. is when you get it to the top and you start going over the side you have to let it balance like on the wheels right you can't let it slide like if you're coming off a truck or any any kind of vehicle and you put it on the ground and it has it has wheels on the bottom of it you've got to really brace it like you have to let it let it drop always do it from the from the bottom like like let it drop to the bottom you never drop it on the top so you, whenever you load the game you load it in like this you pull it out from the bottom out, right? You have to brace it. Like when it's coming down, you know, listen, this is the game you just bought and you just found it and you really want it and you got it home. The last thing you want to do is break it, right? Because then you're screwed. And it's always great to have someone else to help you. But if you do not have someone else to help you, you're on your own, get yourself a pair of really strong gloves. And then when you're pulling it out, you get to that, that point where the game is like leaning off the truck and it can fall and it can tip on its own. You let it tip, right? And you just let gravity go. You go with it, use your entire body, and then just do your best. And then we'll try to, you know, like, uh, is this grammarly that crooked or is it a freaking game? That's weird. I think the game is crooked. It's crooked. It's very weird, man. No. Nah, it's the ground. My ground is unlevel. Isn't that great? The earthquake. The earthquake is with that. All right, friends, YouTube friends. Now I have the, the, the fun stuff to start digging out games and then wheel this one in because I don't feel like going over a step, which will make it really, really awkward to do. I feel like jump, you know, like grabbing and stuff like that, which are. Uh, uh. What do I do here? Do I pull out all these games, which is like five games? Really, pain in the neck. All these games, right? You see them? I have to wheel them out. It's Spy Hunter, that's, that's, you know, that's a zombie right now. And this off-road thunder that is big and there's stuff inside. Let's see. Let me see if I can grab some games out. Let's see if my camera falls again. Balance, Daniel, son. Balance. <clears throat> I'll do, you know, I'm gonna do this marquee when I'm drinking some ham. It's more fun. Very soon. We have some sushi tonight and some hibachi chicken. Oh, yeah. Give this guy right here. I'm hoping it at least works, you know. I hope it like at least can be played. Even if it doesn't have the sound right now and, and you know, I'll eventually get to that. Maybe not. But, um, I hope it just plays. I'll be good with that. You know, I feel like I had production today. It's something I, I wanted to do. Let's take a pull at Spy Hunter. So much stuff on Spy Hunter, man. Not gonna happen. So I want to clean the, the cat crap out of the garage. You know what? What I'm going to do is I'm going to end this video because we're over the hour mark. And the other day when I did a video over an hour, the whole thing didn't didn't load. So I'll leave you like this. Thank you for watching. If you watched this entire video, which I don't think you did, but if you did, thank you very much. Um, if you did watch this entire video, I don't know why I'm looking over there for. 
but if you did thank you and um just keep in touch with us leave comments you know, like i said so many other times just uh you know tell me what kind of games you have if you're interested in any of the games that i have you know let me know and we'll see what we do because i do have a ton of games and uh, a bunch of games got to go i have two q q birds that need to be sold and i have a two i have two baby pac-man so a q bird could be sold easily and a, q a baby pac-man could be sold easy i have a spy hunter or a pinball machine that could go if you guys are interested and i'm selling some big ones too i'm looking to sell guns and roses i'm looking to sell um star wars data east uh what else what else could possibly go um mum, 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 mum. oh these guys the afterburner deluxe the turbo outrun and uh that shuffle bowl bowler which if the right person gets it they can make it work they're all there there's just you know they need some help but um all right that's all let me give me end the video and i'll give you guys a little hang and then see if the gun shows back got a little gun back there that's nothing where do you see me in another month take care everybody I'll show you the uh, crazy calmer arm later on with some Al and my son and Vikinga.